you could imagine. So Hot 97, there's an article that came out not too long ago. I'm going to ask you to pull this article up, too, so I can read some of it. All right. I mean, for the last... Charlamagne's like the last radio star that we that we can think of off the top of our head. Nobody's mm-hmm. popping in radio. Radio, some people don't even remember the last time they listened to the radio um, when they got in their car because their phones are connected automatically to the Bluetooth. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a... When they it, lost their aux cord. Yeah, it's, a, it's an industry that's on the... It's on, life, it's on life, yeah, support. life support anyway, you know? Yeah, radio, it's it's dangerous, man. Yeah. It's dangerous. I, I left my phone in tone car the other day. Yeah. I rode home with no music. I said, fuck the radio. <laughs> yeah. I'll sit in silence before I have to fucking... People are literally choosing that. And that's, <laughs> and that's a common... Yeah. And that's not even that's blasphemous. Real it's yeah. not blasphemous. It's, I don't, not, it's, it's just, not blasphemous at all. So yeah, I'd rather sing a song. There's a... Um, I don't know. It's just... So there's this article that I've read, and it pretty much talks about how like these reports came out and... The parent company to Hot 97 um, is not doing good at all right now. And their stock has fallen under a dollar for more than 30 days last uh, September in 2023 Hmm. and things of that nature. And I was like, in the caption, of course, or the headline, of course, was, um, can you pull it up? Yeah, I'm trying to get to it right now. He's trying to remember it. Right, yeah. You're here for a reason. Yeah. Is, um... Hot 97. Uh, but this is what kind of motivated me to also to watch this podcast finally. I've been kind of carrying it over for two weeks. I was like, I know I'm going to watch it. it but once I read this article, I said, well, let me look at point. let me look at who works at Hot 97 and see what their possibilities are if they do, if Hot 97 does close its doors. Because yeah. after reading this, <clears throat> Ebro gonna be okay. is it a po- Oh, he's the most okay, yeah. probably. But... After reading this, the possibility of the doors closing is there, but at the same time, there's also things in the article that say and, otherwise. And isn't like, I don't want to like talk on my ass, but I feel like with media conglom- conglomerates, yeah. it's almost uh, like, it, like it's impossible for them to go anywhere. Like it's like they're backed by the government, like a, a real institution, right? And that's, like imagine like Gucci going out of business. You right. know what I'm saying? It, so like even when I was reading this, so uh, Media Co. Holding expressed substantial doubt over the ability to continue as a going as a going concern. So in its 2023 annual earnings report on Monday, uh, Media Co. Holding, the parent company of Hip Hop's Hot 97, 97.5. WQHT and adult R&B 107.5 WBLS. New York expressed that the management was concluded that their substantial doubt of their ability to continue as a concern with within one year after the date of the financial statements being issued. Media Co. says it uh, experienced downturns in revenues and profit profitability and expects those to continue for an undetermined period of time, which is <laughs> fucking scary because, you know, it, uh, as of 2020, as of December 31st, 2023, Media Co. had 6.5 million owed to Emmis in the convertible promissory note that was that has 7.1 million due through April 1st of 2025. Due to the debt service obligation, Media Co. Management anticipates that'll be unable to meet the liquidity needs to for the next 12 months with cash and cash equivalents on <coughs> hand and the projected cash flows. For operations, so so they're drowning in debt, oh. and they're not projected to do good to cover what they are exactly right. based on based on projections. Th- what they owe by August first, twenty twenty five, it's they're not, not gonna be on time. It's not even good. It's not even possible. They yeah. don't have anything in the yeah. works. They don't have anything currently that's gonna even be generate the amount of money that they need to pay the debt back technically. Now, if we read a little bit later down into it. I'm about to say the company says it's prepared to implement additional cost cutting. Wait, go up. I'm not yeah. Mm-hmm. I know you're still cost cutting measures as necessary and intends to seek additional borrowings to zoom meet in, its debt service more. obligations. Yeah. Damn. They're getting rid of it. It's like when Mike Tyson so, had to sell his yeah, tigers. Uh, the company says in December 31st, it has $7.1 million in cash and cash equivalents and net capital of Two point uh, oh net a uh, net working capital of two point two million down from fifteen point three million in case in a case and thirteen point three million in working capital at the end of two thousand and two. So pretty much in working capital, working capital is pretty much the money that the business has day to day to pay for overhead expenses to actually operate the business. So it's like cash in yeah. hand, not a quite not a not equating for. Uh, li- li- liquidity, 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 and shit like that. <laughs> but uh, 
Yeah, they were down 2.2 million compared. So it's like they they lost 2.2 and they owed niggas yeah. in, the, in, a, in, a, in a, another year. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, That's so basically, Ebro, yeah. so, so Ebro already getting ready to pull his parachute. He's probably well, preparing. Yeah, so it's he interesting because right that's why now. I was looking because I was like, well, let me look at the personalities that are still there before we move over to the personality list and kind of go through each of them. Um, there's oh, this is the most. This is the part that really stuck out to me. Scroll down uh, that that Media Co has note has notes that its stock is in danger of being. Delisted by the Nasdaq, the stock fell below one dollar per <laughs> share for thirty days, thirty business days in September of twenty three, and we're giving a and we're given one hundred and eighty days to regain compliance for ten for ten. Keep going. Consecutive days. Uh, days following an additional one hundred and eighty day suspension until September 9th of twenty twenty four. So that is also alarming as well too. Now they did have an upswing, in the, <laughs> you know, when your stock this falls below. This is below, also pretty bad. Yeah, right yeah like that's it's a, that's, a penny stock now, right? Low key, like I, I, I don't know. What, so we got Jordan Bell for rich. I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's like yeah, because yeah, it's got to be under a dollar. Yeah, so yeah, 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 they for more than thirty days. So it's like this: <laughs> the, the Nasdaq <laughs> or the stock market gives you room to kind of. We understand oh. shit happens. 180 they, days to get back on your feet because yeah. everybody slips. But nigga, for, but if it's been yeah. under a dollar for 30 days, what's going on over there? Yeah. Like we got start. I'm from Flex's boss now. Yeah, man. like because now you're wasting our time. We might need to take you off a of Nasdaq, not, which would be crazy. Not only it's like as, once these things go to articles like this and it, the the downfall starts, it's like now everybody else is looking at you. We got to audit you. We got to look at this. We got to look at numbers. Invest. We got to really yeah, see. Yeah, for yeah. sure. We got to see what's really happening because this might not even be the, the extent of it. This might be the tip of the iceberg. This is what yeah. things is. This is what we know. Yeah, exactly. and there was something in this where they were saying like uh, Media Co is also prepared to like if they don't meet certain things, reborrow or regain the loan. So like yeah. that's why I'm saying the article damn near makes it seem like Hot 97 is about to close its doors by April of 2025. Shot 97. Shot 97. But they also said something in there where it's like I'm gonna just get another loan possibly. Like owning uh -huh. a house, you could just get a loan. Yeah, I can fucking... re I can refinance, refinance the business, which is like I'm in which is why I'm just I getting like... more debt. Fuck yeah, right, yeah. exactly. You know, sometimes it sometimes it works out to get in more debt to bring yourself out later. Mm -hmm. You know, exactly. So uh, buy some time, nigga. Yeah. So who knows? But they might look at it as a loss. But who knows? I think the the net revenue. Oh, these are net revenue. Scroll down a little bit more. I think there was something. We more. might to try to acquire them. Make a new branch of men's material. Right, that'd be kind of crazy. Um, <laughs> uh, but I don't have I don't have thirty three. Look, you're going funk flex and freestyle about titties about and DMs. Yeah, so then that's what also made me like lock in and definitely watch that Nessa interview because I'm like, all right, I want to go through and really see what's like <laughs> what's going on. What who's mm. even over there right now? Yeah, because we're not in the tri-state. We're in North Carolina. We get broadcasted. I we've. Our big radio station used to get uh they get the morning hustle now. Which yeah, I think the morning hustle. Yeah, we do. I think uh, the morning hustles. We, used to, we used I think to get the breakfast morning hustle. We never got the breakfast. Well, I thought so. Mm -mm, uh, Greensboro did, oh, but okay, not okay, but not okay. Raleigh. Not Raleigh. No, which is uh, kind of crazy. They went the dusty had, as Greensboro. First. Yeah, we had uh, Ricky Smiley before yeah. we did have Ricky before Smiley. Make, we did before have Ricky the morning Smiley. hustle. We did, but um, before that it was Russ Paul. It was was Russ Paul. Russ Paul in the morning. That's what yeah. I used to listen. Break it down, break it down. Um, so then it made me look at everybody that's still working there and to be like, well, if they do close the doors, what's going to happen to these niggas? So I put a link of the, ta you got that uh, the other talent link, yeah. yeah. Who's safe? Everybody who's safe probably already know who's safe. Yeah, nah. I don't, well, if they close the doors, nobody's safe. So now it's what do you have in place to, what, yeah. what are you doing next? Who's going to be cool enough on their own volition? That's yes. what the real question is. <laughs> Pretty is. much. Yeah. Ebro, we know Ebro is is too good. It's not even funny. Yeah, so, don't even question it. It's not even. I don't watch any of these New York people tap in because we don't watch this. I don't even. Do y'all even Torres. listen to this shit? Nessa's always gonna be good because she's got a she's, she's got grandfathered black in culture back in her. Funk Flex will always be good. DJ Enough will always be good. DJ Camillo, I don't know if he's a legend. He probably is. I just don't know him. DJ Drewski will be good. The DJs. Cast One is the only DJ that I don't... You're not familiar with? Yeah, because... You know DJ Juanito? I've heard the name. He's been there forever. Yeah. Oh, A I lot know of, about Juanito. Yeah, I'm tripping. But even when I was, like, going through this list, I'm like, yo, these niggas have been here for a long time. There's not Bro. no... There's no new blood on here. This girl... Maybell seems the youngest She's out of everybody. And, I'm, and I've, I've never seen any of these other people. These last three people, I've never seen them before. 
Tia Marie. Wait. Wait, Tay Isn't Marie. She artist? Tay Marie. She Tay Marie. I'm thinking Tia Marie. I said Tia Marie. She's familiar somehow. T Marie, yeah. I'm gonna call her Ty. Ty Marie, yeah. I think that is what it is, actually. That's it? It's ironic because she's not Asian. Those are the only people that Wait, said, was Peter Rosenberg on there? I didn't see his he profile. Was in, on the he, he broke he broke in the morning. morning. Oh, yeah. okay. Up top. Yeah, at, at the top where he should be. Mm. The TT Torres, I think that's been around for a long time too. I I've, mean, yeah. Huh? Oh, also, they're already kind of This moving, is probably why they wasn't profitable. They're already kind of moving Nessa's um, time slot around. She lost her time slot to Funk Flex. They, they bumped her to another I thought time it was slot. the opposite. I thought I thought she got Funk Flex's spot. Nope. She got bumped for uh, Funk Flex. Funk Flex bumped her spot. So just off a nigga getting bumped, it seemed like they might be, she might be one of the few, like... You know, like uh, the, the niggas on the bottom of the list who don't who we don't recognize, of course they're gonna go first, right? Yeah. But like first big person that's been around there in 19, 20 years type shit, it might be Nessa because they already playing with her schedule. Bye. Yeah, they're giving a different time. Yeah, it's just fucking like, with a circadian rhythm. Like Ebro <laughs> and Funk Flex will forever. They, they looking no, at the, but they looking at the pace stuff. There's it's no just question like, as they're gonna be the last two to go. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And Flex will be the actual last. To More go. than likely, because in terms it's of value, guaranteed. Like yeah, he's Ebro going down is, with the ship. Ebro is second to last. Flex is the last. Yeah, last. he's going down yeah. with the ship for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nah. In terms of value, unless man. unless Ebro is the one that has to let people go, so then Ebro will be last. It it could it could go either way, honestly. Now that I yeah. think Bump Flex is gonna he's gonna be more stubborn. He's gonna be the one that puts the the chain on the door yeah, as they close yeah. the shop. He's just gonna fucking they stop actually, in his Timberlands and they get actually rooted. just moved to a new office though. So that's a strange move, I feel like, when they're in times of need, unless they were downsizing. Then which downsizing, is probably what it was. Which is probably a downsizing. Yeah. There's no way they were upsizing. You niggas got Not all this these space numbers, and they making no money in here. I mean, months ago we talked about uh Hot 97's YouTube channel about how terrible that shit was. We damn sure did. So that doesn't surprise. It's like they don't even have a digital footprint that they can kind of lean into at all. You yeah, know, there's to, to no saving grace. Nah, why, why is Hot 97? Why is Hot 97 a, a majority Hispanic run uh, platform? What you call it? Why am I just now noticing this? Good observation, nigga. That is even DJ Juanito. But the black people have the most power on this whole thing. You think so? Yeah, Ebro. He's mixed, half black, half white. That don't count. He came out oh, Puerto thought, Rican. If Funk and Funk Flex is uh just nigga. Yeah. yeah. Oh well. yeah, Funk Flex is Brooklyn. I could have sworn I thought Ebro had a little bit of uh, uh, I forget. You know. Or you never know, because Funk Flex is from New York. He could be fucking Jamaican or whatever. Like, Panamanian. You don't, you don't know, honestly. He gotta he, grow his hair out first. He just looks black. Yeah, I don't know what he is. You know what I'm saying? Nigga have Tony's hair fucking texture. Right. No, that means he's super black. But Hot 97 might be going and Nessa might be the first one. Can you pull up can you pull up that link? Um the Nessa joint, uh, where they were moving her time slots around and all that, and yeah, they might be trying to chop her. They Which be could be, or, or that could have been something she asked for. Like, <laughs> no, no, she, did, she didn't like it because you uh, don't move from mornings to middays on yeah. your own volition. That's the that's zoom the coveted spot. Zoom in so I can. Uh, she got a little like Lala no, Anthony. Uh, let me quick. read the uh, the caption, uh, the the title. It's at the top. Temper. This shit is crazy. Tempers high at Hot 97 as Nessa upset to learn Funk Flex is taking her drive time slot. This is published God. March 20th. Because drive time is the covetous spot, right? That's the morning slot? I think drive time is like on the like the on the way home. Oh, like the four to the five? Like the four to six or some four shit to like six, that. Yeah. I, think, I think that's what the drive home is. Oh, so she got bummed up early the into the day. She a daytime radio host. Yeah, all right. Tempers flare, Hot 97, page six years. We hear the... Famed rap station is preparing to announce a number of changes to its schedule, including a move that will see hip hop legend Funkmaster Flex move into the plum spot currently occupied by most beloved host Nessa. Uh, while she, while she will still, while she will shift into his t late time slot. Jesus. Sources say she's very upset about it, and many mm -hmm. networkers inside are siding with her. Uh, they say that while Flex may be an industry superstar who helped the network become the hip hop powerhouse it is today, Nessa has done more than enough to each to each to each the respect. Must be they they must have meant reach. Okay, the reach of respect to the yeah. network boss. The person who wrote this was named Tashira Jones. So it was. What are you uh, saying about black women? What are you trying to say? <laughs> Hot ninety seven exactly. No, hold on, hold on. What are you saying about black women, sir? Nah, we get it. Nah, uh, nah, keep saying? going. What the fuck are you saying about these queens? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, because this might be more damning for Wednesday. What's happening Wednesday? 
I don't sure. care, but if it's more damning, it's gonna be more damning. I love it. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah more, yep, yeah. more, more ammo to add on. Fuck uh, high ninety seven executives <laughs> didn't even respect her enough to call her straight up directly uh, about the changes, but informed her team of the change, leaving Nessa feeling blindsided. So said one, uh, one pal, said of, one the pal of the host. Yeah. So yeah, man. They get they moving her around. She just had a newborn, so it's like it's kind of fucking up her schedule in terms of uh, yeah being at home. Being but I mean, home mom. her husband took a knee, so he had the crib, right? He ain't playing football no more. In that uh, Ian, in that Ian uh, interview on off air, and that's an off air. She said that uh, he goes, he gets up every morning and trains though. Oh, Sound like he got a full schedule. Doesn't he have like a nonprofit or some shit? He probably goes to that. I don't know what he does. Probably works she, out, trains, and then goes to that office. I don't know what he does. She might be fucking lying. That might just be for the carry. What, what are he training for? I no, no. Not. I'm sure he's doing. I think that. he's still training. I'm sure he's doing. I think it's kind of hard to get back into the league for the possibility. Yeah. I don't know. How old is he? He's still trying. I just feel like being a professional athlete is it's like, like that's retiring. His life, bro. Yo, yeah, reti- Colin. I know. Like a retiring great... isn't the same. No. It's nah. It's not. You don't, if you don't you just might... stop working out. No. You know? Nah. You might get a residual workout, but you got to think before you were getting paid to work out that hard. Some of them niggas though, they go. You're programmed now. You're programmed. Yeah, some of them niggas it's are programmed that, that way. Some, and niggas, some of them niggas aren't even working out as pro athletes. That's what I'm saying. But like, some nigg- of them are though, and you know those niggas, and he is one of them niggas. Come on. No, no. Bro, he's been actively they said he she said in his interview he still sends letters hoping for a shot and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean it's not gonna happen. Isaiah but, Thomas is he like a kid again? Isaiah Thomas, like this nigga worked his way up to get like two ten day contracts with the sun. So oh, yeah, I remember that. It's it can't happen, but why not? But, he, he's but because he's not as what old. I've heard about him on the field is that he's not even that good. Yeah. Like, he's not good to be. At least maybe not anymore. Causing this uproar. I think it's just like the NBA, too. He hasn't played in a long time. So yeah. it's just. What are you going to oh, come and contribute? He but be, overall, be a second it's just string. he can't even be at. Be he's not string. even at the speed. It's like, you know how y'all be saying he's when not a nigga is speed. out. He got to get back up to game speed. Yeah. It might take him he a year. Get his rhythm back. I don't think he's trash. He's probably just not at game speed. And. I don't know. This went to the Super Bowl. It's just, that's not it's like not a easy. decade ago, right? Uh, he did it, though. There's he a lot did that. But never a do it. decade ago. Yeah, that's it. He's still training. Bro. Fucking Tom Brady was 40, 40 damn near 50. Left, yeah. I don't know much about football, but somebody in this comment section does. Please and the fact the that truth. you said those two names together in a I, sentence no, it's cra- I'm is just, probably going to make them issue. cry. <laughs> you know? like, You're right. Cause what? You're right. It's probably an issue. He's but, committed blast. But um, I did hear that like Colin Kaepernick, he was kind of ass, like especially when it was happening. When it was like, happening, he wasn't, at, he wasn't oh, even oh, a Colin Kaepernick. He wasn't doing he it at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah I see what you're saying. That afro, it, it, it just made him look cool. Which they do hate niggas More making a stand, women. especially if you're not winning championships. So we don't got time for this. Shit. Yeah, you yeah, can't be time, ass nigga. and vocal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, need, we need chips out here. I was about to say. All right. Uh, 